Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Town Pistol and Knife Challenge. A few rules that I need to follow for this challenge, which are, I can use any melee weapon, the ray gun is not allowed, no other weapon types are allowed, and pack a punch and perks are allowed. So for each zombie challenge that I do from now on, there's going to be some medals to make it a little bit more interesting. So for this challenge, I need to get to at least round 20 to get a bronze medal, round 25 for a silver medal, and last but not least, which is of course the one I'm aiming for, I need to get to round 30 to get gold medal. Can I do it? Let's find out. I know this is really really weird but the early rounds of this challenge are really really difficult and what I mean by that is you're actually really really limited because I've only got the M1911 here and my knife and that is all I can use until I've got enough points for everything I need. What I try to do in this run anyway is try and save up for the Galvan Knuckles and I'll continue to do that in all the other runs that I do. Spoiler alert for what's going to happen soon because getting the Galvan Knuckles is probably the best your best bet because once you've got them it's a one hit melee until round 14 meaning you can build, I can build up points for the box to get other pistols because the M1911 while you can pack a bunch it to the Mustang and Sally's there's no PhD on this map making it very problematic. Let's just say this run was not a good start as on round 4 I died I took it down and I didn't want to carry on the game and use one of the crit revives really early so it ended up restarting um, so that was fun so yeah I'm clearly the best zombies player in the world and this is going very well so um i managed to get to round six on my next one well i got to higher than round six but by round six i managed to get quick revive juggernaut and the galvan uncle so this was a much better run than the first one so it's beginning of round seven now i'm trying to spin the mystery box as well as you can see in this gameplay here because i want to get other pistols the hard part about this challenge is getting the pistols out of the mystery box i'm not even joking you're gonna see later in the game exactly what this means so after spinning the mystery box for literally 10 minutes straight, I managed to get the executioner out of the box and I also got double tap 2.0 because double tap 2.0 is probably the best perk for this challenge because um, double, what double tap 2.0 does is you end up firing two bullets instead of one so essentially it does double damage for your weapons which is huge because if I was to do this without double tap 2.0 this challenge would be even worse than it already is. But yeah, as you can see in this gameplay, I've got Quick Revive, Juggernaut, Double Tap 2.0, and things are going pretty well. So fast forward into round 14 here, as you can see in the gameplay, I've got all four perks that I need, including stamina, as I think sprinting around the map, it will be pretty essential for this run to go really well in terms of training and things like that. I've also got the Executioner Pack Punch and the Mustang and Sally's. Now, I know I, know I said originally I wasn't going to do that, but it was taking me far too long to get like any weapons out of the box. I'm not even joking. I, it's, it felt like I was going for the Ray Gun or the Ray Gun Mark II in this run. It was unbelievable. The pistols, for some reason, was not popping for me. And then, Lord and Behold, in round 14 as well, I took my uh, first down of this particular match. Um, so that was not great. So I had to get all my perks again. And yeah, but at least I've got my Mustang and Sally's and my Executioner, which makes this run already a lot better than the first one. So when I got to round 18, I thought, you know what, I've got my Juggernog, my Double Tap 2.0, I'm a Speed Caller, I'm all set up, no problem. But then I realised something, I forgot to put Quick Revive back on, and let's just say things don't go to plan. So as you can see here, I got a bit trapped, went all the way over here like an absolute donut. And then I thought, you know what, I found Mustang Salad, he's got rid of the zombies, and then me being me, I ran straight through the train and I'm getting myself killed. So that's run number two, and I didn't even get a bronze medal for that, so I'm going to continue until we do better. So in this gameplay here, I'm on round 21, so I'm doing much better already. Um, I get the Cobra, which is the Python pack a punch and I've also got the Executioner. I've only got Juggernaut and Double Tap 2.0, because let's just say again, the start of this game was an absolute nightmare. I was spinning the box for ages and I was basically stuck with the M1911 and the Galvan Knuckles for ages which resulted in let's just say a few deaths so as a result the quick revive is gone so I'm literally on my final life here in this gameplay so there's no pressure or anything but this is going to be tough so in this gameplay here um, it's just a, an example to show you how annoying this challenge really is so I was like running around training like one zombie like nearly most rounds past let's say round 22 and um things became very problematic very quickly because as you can see i've only got the five seven 
which is pack a punch but it's not a very good gun and i had to keep spinning the box for other pistols because the pythons run out of ammo and sometimes i'd have to literally and i'm not even joking i'll show you gameplay of this in a second where i was using the galvan knuckles for the whole round and at this point the galvan knuckles was two to three hits i was just playing for max ammo so a round would take up to half an hour just to complete one and i'm not even joking it's, it was an absolute nightmare so round 28 rolls along and let's just say the Galvan Knuckles are coming out in full force in this gameplay here. I had to go through the whole round and I repeat the whole round with my Galvan Knuckles. No pistol ammo, no nothing because I'd ran out and let's just say the mystery box wasn't on my side. I was spinning it 10 to 15 times and I got no pistols, no nothing. I got the ballistic knives at one point but they're pretty useless at this stage so that was a waste of time. So I had to basically hit each zombie three to four times before they died and this is where things were getting really tough. Eventually though I do recover from this, it's not all like this but I'm not going to show you the full half an hour, 40 minutes of gameplay because like round 26 to like 29 were an absolute nightmare just constantly meleeing zombies so an absolute miracle happens here i actually managed to get to round 30 gold medal achieved i was really really happy about it so i don't sound happy it's because i'm really tired but i achieved the gold medal really really impressed myself and i managed to get my ammo back so i've got my python ammo and i got the dual wheel five sevens with ammo so things are looking a lot better round 30 was really really good um and yeah i was thinking you know what let's keep going let's see how far I can really take i'm really surprised of how far i've actually got in this challenge because this is not an easy challenge people might say oh the guns are really powerful but it's not like a war weapon you make and keep buying ammo like you're limited and for me to get to round 30 i'm so so proud of myself however unfortunately uh round 32 comes along and let's just say my luck runs out so i got into a position where i literally the ballistic knives with my galvan knuckles and nothing was really happening like everything was just boring and very tedious and when you have no ammo at this stage it becomes very very difficult like it was probably about five galvan knuckle um, hits for one zombie at this stage and that's just ridiculous um so i'm just trying to shoot with my ballistic knife best i can and obviously that's doing barely any damage at this point but um in this gameplay here i um, kill a zombie here get double points which is not ideal because that's literally not the power up that i need at all um, keep hitting the zombies as much, as much as i can and then i come up these stairs here turn around for literally a couple of seconds and then a zombie comes behind me and i die so yeah um i got to round 32 in this challenge achieved the gold medal and i'm actually really really happy with this so you know what can't really complain anyway that is it for today's video don't forget to like comment subscribe send me some more challenges down in the comments below and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace out